For months now, the camera community has been buzzing with excitement, speculation, and a healthy dose of skepticism about what Sony might be preparing for its next big launch. All eyes are on the Sony a7 V, a full-frame mirrorless camera that could potentially redefine the hybrid market in 2025. Unlike minor refreshes that simply polish old features, the a7 V is shaping up to be something more ambitious, a camera designed not only for professional photographers, but also for filmmakers, content creators, and hybrid shooters who demand uncompromising performance across every category. In this deep dive, we're going to explore everything currently known about the a7 V, rumored specs, design choices, expected pricing, market competition, and what it could mean for photographers and videographers moving forward. We'll also compare the a7 V to rivals from Canon, Nikon, and Panasonic, and discuss why this release may be one of Sony's most pivotal moves in nearly a decade. So, let's break it down section by section. A legacy of disruption. Looking back at the A7 series, to understand why the A7 V is such a big deal, you have to look at how far the A7 series has come. Sony's A7 line didn't just compete with DSLR giants like Canon and Nikon. It dismantled their dominance and rewrote the rules for what a modern digital camera could be. Sony A7 III, 2018. Dubbed the basic model, but it was anything but basic. At under $2,000, it offered a full-frame sensor, excellent dynamic range, reliable autofocus, and 4K recording. It became the go-to choice for professionals and enthusiasts alike. And its sales numbers proved it. Sony A7 IV, 2021. The successor raised the bar with a new 33 MLP sensor, improved Beyond's XR processing, vastly enhanced autofocus, and 4K 60p recording. However, it also came with a higher price tag. While professionals embraced it, some hobbyists questioned if the upgrades were worth the extra cost. Now we're in 2025, and the a7 V is expected to be Sony's answer to a market that's rapidly changing. Hybrid workflows, social media content creation, and professional filmmaking standards have evolved drastically since the a7-4's release. Which raises the question, will the a7 V be a true leap forward or another incremental update packaged at a higher price? Sensor choices. Dual identity of the A7. Five perhaps the most fascinating rumor surrounding the Sony A7 V is that it might come in two sensor configurations. If true, this would mark a bold move by Sony, essentially tailoring the camera to two very different audiences. Megapixel BSI CMOS, sensor perfect, for detail-hungry stills photographers. Designed for commercial, landscape, and studio work where every pixel counts offers massive flexibility for cropping and large format prints. Megapixel stacked CMOs sensor lower resolution, but far superior in terms of speed and readout. Ideal for action shooters, wildlife photographers and filmmakers, reduced rolling shutter, better low light performance and faster burst rates. If Sony truly embraces this dual path strategy, the a7 V won't just be a one size fits all camera. Instead, it will give creators a choice ultimate detail or ultimate speed. This could also be Sony's way of directly answering both Canon and Nikon, who have segmented their camera lineups to target different professionals. Video capabilities, a cinematic powerhouse in your hands. Let's face it, in 2025, any camera calling itself a hybrid has to excel at video. Gone are the days when video was just an afterthought. Filmmakers, YouTubers, and indie creators now demand cinematic performance without lugging around a cinema camera rig. The Sony a7 V is rumored to include K16 bit, raw output, perfect for professional color grading and workflows, support for S-Log3 and S-Gamut3 dot scene profiles, giving filmmakers the same flexibility as high-end Sony cinema cameras. In-body five-axis image stabilization with up to eight stops of compensation a massive win for handheld shooting, improved rolling shutter, control, essential for fast-moving subjects, and handheld pans, high bitrate recording. For those who want maximum detail without external recorders, while early leaks suggest it may not natively record 6K or 8K, Sony seems more focused on quality over numbers. For most creators, clean oversampled 4K with excellent dynamic range is more practical than bloated 8K files that few computers can handle. Design and ergonomics. Refining what works Sony cameras have always been known for their compact, weather-sealed designs. But
but ergonomics were sometimes criticized compared to Canon's more comfortable grip or Nikon's robust handling. With the A7 V, Sony is expected to refine its physical design for a better user experience. Slightly deeper grip for all-day shoots. Upgraded 5.76 Anners dot. EVF for crystal clear previews. Fully articulating LCD touchscreen. A must for vloggers, solo shooters, and hybrid creators. Improved heat management with new passive cooling systems. Tough magnesium alloy build with weather sealing for outdoor professionals. These upgrades may seem incremental on paper, but in practice, they could significantly improve usability, especially for creators who spend long hours shooting weddings, events or documentaries, connectivity and workflow, faster, smarter, more efficient in 2025. Speed isn't just about shutter performance, it's about workflow efficiency. Content creators need cameras that can connect seamlessly to laptops, tablets, or even smartphones. Rumored features include Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 for rapid wireless. Transfers improved tethering support. For studio shooters, cloud integration for direct. Uploads to editing platforms dual. Card slots supporting both CFX Press Type A and SD. UHS 2. This could make the A7 V an all-in-one solution not just for capturing content, but also for distributing it efficiently. A vital factor for modern creators juggling YouTube uploads, Instagram reels, and client projects simultaneously. Autofocus. AI takes. Over Sony already leads the industry in autofocus. And the A7 V is expected to push this even further with next-gen AI tracking. Early whispers suggest 30 FPS burst shooting with minimal rolling shutter. Real-time subject recognition for humans, animals, birds, cars, and more. I autofocus improvements. Even better for video with moving subjects. Deep learning algorithms that adapt to unpredictable shooting environments. For sports photographers, wildlife shooters, or documentary filmmakers, these autofocus upgrades could be game-changing, thermal management, overheating no more. One of the biggest criticisms of previous Sony models was overheating during extended 4K or RAW recording. The A7 V may finally address this issue with enhanced passive heat dissipation, smarter firmware controls to balance performance and cooling, improved airflow design inside the body. If Sony can pull this off, the A7 V could become a reliable workhorse for long productions, interviews, or events without the dreaded thermal shutdowns. Price expectations. A professional investment pricing is always the deal breaker for many buyers. Current estimates suggest the Sony A7 V body will launch between $2,199 and $2,099. While this is a significant jump for enthusiasts, professionals will likely view it as a fair investment considering the rumored specs. For context, Canon's R6 Mark III is expected to be priced similarly. Nikon's Z63 already sits in this ballpark. Panasonic's S5 2X undercuts them but lacks Sony's autofocus edge. Yes, the A7 V will be expensive, but if it combines resolution, speed professional video tools, and advanced AI autofocus, it could easily justify the cost for those who rely on their camera to make a living. Competition. How does the A7 V stack up? The full-frame mirrorless space is more competitive than ever in 2025. Here's where the A7 V might stand. Canon R6 Mark III, expected to rival the A75 directly with a balance of photo and video features. Nikon Z63, strong ergonomics and image quality, but Sony's autofocus may still be superior. Panasonic S5 2X, great video specs at a lower price, but autofocus remains its weakness. Fujifilm X-H2S, crop sensor but insanely fast. However, Sony's full-frame advantage may keep it ahead. If Sony delivers everything it promises, the A7 V could dominate as the default hybrid choice for professionals and advanced creators. Who is the A7 V for? Wedding photographers, fast autofocus, reliable video, and strong low-light performance. Filmmakers, 16-bit raw output and cinematic color profiles. Content creators, articulating screen, stabilization and wireless workflows, wildlife and sports shooters, stacked sensor, 30 FPS bursts, and AI tracking. In other words, the A7 V is shaping up to be a true all-rounder.